Welcome to our lecture online and here's our next example of how to use Stefanin's method to solve circuit problems like this. Ultimately we have a linear circuit attached to a load resistor. We're trying to find the current through the load resistor. The load resistor is equal to 15 ohms. The circuit has both a voltage source and a current source. The first thing we want to do is find the Thevenin's resistance. To do that, remove the load resistor, remove all the current sources, and we short out all the voltage sources. The remaining circuit, we try to then find the resistance of it. When we do that, we get the following circuit. This becomes a short. We still have our 6 ohm resistor. The current source has been removed, so we have an open right there. We have another 6 ohm resistor. We have the 4 ohm resistor and the load resistor has been removed as well. This is 6 ohms, 6 ohms, and this is 4 ohms. And the resistance across the two ends, the two terminals, that is equal to the Thevenin's resistance. So basically what we have is two resistors in parallel. If you combine these two, that's a 12 ohm resistor and a 4 ohm resistor. So we can redraw that circuit right here. We have a 12 ohm resistor, and maybe it might even be better if we draw it like this. So that would be the equivalent circuit. So we have an equivalent 12 ohm resistor, we have a 4 ohm resistor, and then we have the terminals here. So this is 4 ohms, that's this resistor. Those two combined give us a 12 ohm resistor. Since they're in parallel, we use the product over the sum. 12 times 4 is 48, 12 plus 4 is 16, 48 divided by 16, that's equal to 3. That means we have a single 3 ohm resistor and that becomes the Thevenin's resistance, R sub TH equals 3 ohms. Now that we have that, now we're trying to find the Thevenin voltage. What we do is remove the R sub L, the load resistor, and then we find the voltage across the open end with everything else in place. Let's go ahead and do that here. So we still have the 12 ohm voltage source. We have the 6 ohm resistor, we have the 2 amp source, so this is 12 volts. We still have a 6 ohm resistor here, and a 4 ohm resistor here, and then the two terminal ends right there. So this is 4 ohms, this is 6 ohms, and this is 6 ohms. What we're going to do now is we're going to find the voltage at this node, and eventually we'll use that to find the voltage at this node. So first the voltage at this node, let's call that voltage V. Notice all the currents entering and all the currents leaving that node using a red pen. I can assume that there's a voltage being driven here, I mean a current being driven by this voltage source, so let's say there's a current I1 in this direction, there's a current I2 in this direction, and then I'm assuming there's a current I3 in this direction. So using Kirchhoff's rules, we can say that I1 plus I2 is equal to I3. All the currents entering equal all the currents leaving. Now, equating those, I1 will be equal to the voltage difference between these two, which means 12 volts minus V, whatever V is, that's the voltage at that node, divided by the resistance in between, which is 6, plus I2, which is a 2 amp current, equals I3, which is the voltage difference between there and there, which is V, divided by the total resistance between those two, which is 10. Looks like to solve for V, I can multiply both sides of the equation by, hmm, how about by 30? Multiply that by 30. 6 goes into 30 5 times, 5 times 12 is 60, minus 5 times V, plus 30 times 2 is 60, equals, 10 goes in 33 times, equals 3V. Moving the 5V across, end up with 120 is equal to 8V on the right side, 8V, which means that V must be 120 divided by 8, which is 15 volts. That means the voltage at this node is equal to 15 volts. Let me put that in there with a red pen, so we're at 15 volts there. And notice that the voltage drops going from there to here to zero volts over here, which means I can figure out what the voltage is there by using the Volder divider technique. What I can see here is that the Thevenin voltage, V Thevenin, 
is equal to the voltage at this node times the ratio of the remaining resistance that the current must go through, which is 4 ohms, divided by the total resistance that's there, which is 6 plus 4. That makes this equal to 15 volts. Oop, that's 15. Oop, let me try that again. 15 volts multiplied times 4 divided by 10. That is equal to 6 volts. The Thevenin voltage is equal to 6 volts, and the Thevenin resistance is equal to 3 ohms, which means we can take this entire circuit and replace it by the simple circuit, a voltage source of 6 volts and a resistance of 3 ohms. This entire circuit has now become the Thevenin equivalent circuit. We can now attach the load resistor to that, R sub L, which is equal to 15 ohms. And now we can find the current to the circuit. I through the load is equal to question mark. Well, we know that according to Ohm's law, the load is equal to the voltage supply divided by the total resistance. In this case, that is the 6 volts from the Thevenin voltage divided by the sum of the two resistances, since they're in series, that would be 3 ohms plus 15 ohms, which is equal to 6 divided by 18 amps, which is one-third of an amp, which is equal to 0 0.333 amps out to three decimal places. And that will be the current through the load resistor using this great technique called the Thevenin's theorem. And that's how it's done.